So this is joining up here, ladies and gentlemen. Germany leads NATO in operations to uh, Latvia, or what it was called. Uh, sends troops last world, world English news. So basically, uh, most of the uh, American troops have landed in Poland. I never probably Germany doesn't want to send the guns to anywhere else. I don't think Germany wants to get involved in this war. Ukraine, NATO, um, Americans, UK. We have to just have a look and see what we can find here. Some people do this video differently to me, but we're gonna have a look and see what they're saying on the on the news channel. So we're going to be playing it, as you guys and girls may jump and see. On the ground, as we heard from Palki, preparations for a potential war are in full swing in and around Ukraine. The U.S. is bulking up its troop presence in Europe. Two U.S. military planes have landed in Poland and more are expected later in the day. President Biden has ordered nearly 3,000 troops to move to Eastern Europe to protect NATO's eastern flank. A Polish military spokesperson confirmed that more planes were expected, but did not say how many. The Pentagon said that around 1,700 service members have been deployed in the Airborne Division, and a C-17 aircraft is designed to airdrop 102 paratroopers and their equipment in Poland. Germany is leading headphones. a NATO operation in Lithuania and has stationed around 500 soldiers there. And the Chancellor has offered a clarification on why Germany is not supplying weapons to Ukraine amid the threat of an invasion. Die Regierung hat seit vielen Jahren einen klaren Kurs, dass wir nicht in Krisengebiete liefern und dass wir auch keine letalen Waffen in die Ukraine liefern. Germany uh, cleared weapons. Meanwhile, inside Ukraine, various armed forces and tanks have begun training at a military ground. On your screens now, visuals of the Ukraine National Corps training volunteers in the capital. The training involves basic instructions on how to hold a weapon, provide security and administer first aid. Russia's defense ministry, meanwhile, released footage of armed forces from the Western Military District carrying out exercises in the Leningrad region. It borders Finland and Estonia. This comes after Russia sent a pair of long-range nuclear-capable bombers on patrol over Belarus, which borders Ukraine to the north. Moscow has also moved troops from Siberia and the Far East to Belarus for sweeping joint drills. The deployment has only added to the Russian military buildup near Ukraine, fueling Western fears of a possible invasion. Wow. What do you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, think? Do you reckon it's going to happen? Or do you reckon it's just words and talk and scaremongering? Could it happen? Do you want to send troops and soldiers there for the sake of sending them there? Then they have to bring all that equipment back. So something's happening. They don't just drop off things to do train and bring it back. It's not a fake war. It's a real war. This is real life. Some people may think it's fake, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. Uh, Dan Houser here. Join me here. See you next video. Peace. Take it easy. Thank you for joining me.